So to make a living, I borrowed a five horsepower outboard from my dad and a little 14 foot skiff and a rod and reel. No, nope, we didn't have spinning tackle back then. And after the war, I went back and checked the fish house record. For the three months that I made a living fishing, we averaged, I averaged 500 pounds of trout a week with that little rod and reel. gorgeous morning this morning watching the sunrise flat calm winds variable good day to go fishing we laugh a lot and uh, realize life's short and it's a fun trip Ross and Paul live in Florida I live in Kansas City I've been fishing my whole life and to be able to do something like this with my brothers it's pretty cool the reality is I'm an office worker and and I don't get to do this every weekend. We were lucky that we were able to anchor up in this deep stuff and you know, get, get pretty vertical on it. I'm married, I've got two grown sons, two uh, little granddaughters, expecting a grandson. We will be taking up a jackpot, and this trip is included in our season-long gag grouper tournament. Right now, the biggest grouper is, I believe, a 34-pound carbo, and we second place is a 24 pound gag grouper. We got Will and Kyle working the deck today and we have Miss Tammy in the galley. We do have some giant squid that we're gonna keep those frozen until tomorrow afternoon and take those out to rig for uh, fishing at real deep water tomorrow night. Uh, most of y'all brought bait out and understand you have to buy some bait or catch your own. If you did not understand that, that's the game plan. So you need to go in and see Tony and get yourself at least two dozen baits. Captain Mark Hubbard from Hubbard's Marina, born and raised in the area, son of a son of a sailor. I worked for the guy that had to pier when I was 15 years old, the summer of 1930. I bought his business, his concession with the city, I was 15 years old. 40 cane poles and five rowboats for 150 bucks. We've been running this overnight trip. My father and brother started it in, oh, I guess it was uh, the late 70s, 80s. This is when Dad and I brought the Florida Fisherman the second back from Chalmette, Louisiana. Very day we, we docked. I had the opportunity to take over the marina in 1997. Will's been on board since he was 16 years old. You know, he's now married a woman that worked in the office. I've known Kyle probably about three years now. Eventually he was able to get on the boat. And uh, he's been on the boats with us for at least two years. We go out about 120 miles offshore in the Gulf of Mexico and fish anywhere from 500 to about almost 900 feet of water for a variety of deep water grouper and snapper. Sit down over here, and if you just come up, if you want to get the jackpot, come on up to me, and I'll work my way around the tables here, okay? All right, guys. Jeez, 25 years of sundowners out here on this boat. <laughs> A lot of great memories, tons of great memories. $1,000 jackpot. A lot of guys, they come out just to get away or for the fishing, but for some of them, it's all about the money. They want to win that $1,000 jackpot and the bragging rights that come along with it. And there's a lot of money to be had out there on those trips. Occasionally we'll run a bonus jackpot during these trips where the first person to catch or the person to catch the biggest grouper or the first person to catch their limit of grouper or whatever the captain specifies for the trip. They can win up to $5,000 on that overnight trip and that's how some guys pay for their fishing for the year. We've been going to the Florida Middle Grounds for a long time, catching tens and thousands of pounds of fish. 
We average about three or 4,000 pounds a trip on good trips. We have a great team of captains with Captain Brian and Garrett, Hubbard and myself. And we take people out fishing in a very safe atmosphere, teach them how to fish, and then catch a lot of fish. It's fun. Now look at this environment. I mean, it's gorgeous out here. We've got mahi-mahi, we've got tuna, we've got kingfish, we've been bottom fishing for grouper, snapper, amberjack, and we got it all out here in the Gulf of Mexico. He's the best. He is so smart, he watches, he listens, he's so honest. I don't think there's a day goes by that he doesn't help someone. Oh my gosh, that was making me nervous. I got that fishing pole two years ago and it's a virgin, first time used. And he put it, you put it to the test. So that's your rod, right. okay, that's good. good. That sounds good, you wanna get a picture? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, baby, fish on. I got you, Gary. Let me show you how to turn and burn a mango. You ready Rich, for this Rich, I think I introduced you to this type of fishing. Don't worry about it, look at that. Let me burn, let me turn and burn a nice little mango if here. I, if I remember correctly. Nice. All right, son. How many mangoes? Yeah. You gotta I think, be. I, I think I'm like 18, 19. Garrett's probably about five. <laughs> I definitely don't have 18, 19. Yes, I know that. I'm more in the 20s. Bigger than 55 gallon drum. It's, yeah, uh, buddy. it's, it's big. Pitching baits at this uh, big piece of debris that's floating out here in the Gulf of Mexico. And it's been floating out here a while. You can see all the barnacles underneath the, the bumper. So we just pull up to a real easy and everyone th pitch baits out to it. Get the mahi-mahi and wahoo to hit them. <laughs> Dolphin! <laughs> Some nice hey, big fat bull. Out there, pale hook. That was awesome. Let's take him to the back. There's nothing following with this one. Yes! <laughs> Woo! What's the per person limit for grouper? Four fish, or eight fish total. Eight grouper total, all species. What I was using for deep drop was a pre manufactured rig. It had six hooks, glow beads, like 200 pound mono leader. Uh, a big four pound sash, sash weight. I was using a two pound sash weight, but that wasn't enough. So I upped it to a four pound. Uh, I also used a flashing light, a strobe light, because we're deep dropping. And as you saw on that uh, uh, one hit, some fish just knocked it off <laughs> and tore up my leader. But I still, I landed two grouper on that haul anyway. This trip is awesome because we're catching giant grouper. Garrett, I got him for you, brother. Come on, man. That's I got you, Garrett. You ain't nothing, son. Bring it. All right, guys. This is it. The cap has decided this trip's five thousand dollar bonus jackpot is going to be for the first angler to land their eight grouper limit. Good luck. Here we go. It's the Kraken. <laughs> Uh, my brother Hart lives in Missouri and my brother Paul lives over by Coco. 
it's not who catches the most it's you go out and you have a good time and you explore in places i grew up i grew up commercial fishing i've been fishing my whole life and to be able to do something like this with my brothers it's pretty cool well that's good because that'll give me time that'll give me time to run back and grab some uh, sardines so i can keep whooping on you i'm taking this boat up there i got two he got zero oh I'm whooping garrett down He said, no, I'm using that one that kind of like yours. But see, he's up there using thread fin daring, and I told him to catch fish, you got to use sardines. Damn, he pulled the guts out of that last fish. <laughs> yeah, we'll see who's talking shit now. Yeah, oh, what's up now? Up. Hey, what's man, if I got now? out of my grave, would you get in it like that? What's up now? Wow, dude. <laughs> wow, and he's got my rod, he's there got my rod go. reel in his hand too. And I was gonna be nice enough, and I brought six sardines. Uh, I'm fine with the thread oh, fins here. Oh, get off my fish! Hey, oh, you can't even catch. Hey man, what kind of secondhand fish, trashy reel is this? This one's bigger than the two you just caught combined. Is he hurting your back? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I go back here to get bait. No, oh, no, no, he jumps in my spot with my rod. Craig's one of the guys, and I think he's a pharmacist, uh, I think a local guy. Uh, turned out to be a really good guy. Uh, everybody's independent fisherman on there. You got your spot to fish and everything, and uh, for that trip, you... I maintain my spot there, and some guys like to move around. Craig had some real nice equipment. And uh, there's a situation there, once he realized what the problem was, he would get tangled, but it's basically the line bowing in the current. The weight will slow down with the depth, but the line will bow, and he was chasing way out, and he kind of thought some other people was maybe uh, uh, under fishing on their weights and everything, but it turned out to be real good. Craig turned out to be a real good guy. Yeah. Tangler, yeah, yeah. Well, everybody was. <laughs> hey, it's just fishing, you know, you can't, you know, you can't, yeah. lose, a, you can't lose a panty shield over it, you know. This is my brother Paul, Paul Buck. <laughs> this is the first time he went fishing. Yeah. He's on he's on work release. <laughs> yeah, the three of us fish together uh, several times a year. Grouper! Ah damn it, the red. Fire truck. The crews obviously loves their job. Bust their ass. Um, it's hard to pull off 17 guys deep dropping. Did you bend him? Kyle, did you bend him already? Yeah. Ready? Getting back to the ridge. Go look for the grouper. Gotta find a nice sundowner spot. Watch the sunset and catch some grouper. Yeah, this is our first electric deep drop trip. But we take Ross's boat and come out here 100 miles, spend the night, and we do well. We catch lots of grouper, lots of fish. But this was a whole different, uh, All different trip. big game experience. Big fish, deep water. Uh, about two and a half years before this boat arrived, it was built and arrived, I started out at Hubbard's. I used to be an inshore fisherman, snook. I specialized fishing for snook. Uh, growing up my entire life and uh, I was very good at it so I thought I was God's gift to the fishing world. I came out here and it was very cold in shore and I came out here and uh, I discovered a world that was completely different. Oh, uh, three or four varieties of grouper, mahi, porgies, snapper, amberjack, barrelfish, Waiting for the signal from the satellite. Going to call in to our local uh, fishing show, the Real Animals. And 
brag about our long list of uh, species we've been catching out here. Brownie. I got my finger up his ass, literally. Next trip, we have two different sets of families that are coming out, three and four generations. There's so many stories like that. People that have fished with my father and my brother and myself and our fishing team. We touch a lot of people, Hubbard's Marina and the uh, Central West Florida gulf fishing is, I mean, people fly here from all over the country. Kyle and I filleted fish for a long time that day. We were there till afternoon, I believe, playing those big groupers. I need a gap. Well, three. Oh, give me a gap. Give me a gap. I lost about 50 or 60 feet. Um, well, well, they did a good job. They cut, they cut that out. Um, they did a knot called an Albright Special. It's a real quick knot you can use to few, fuse uh, braid on braid. That's the first one I've ever seen. That's a, never seen nothing like that. They also call them glass eye snappers. If you look at the, at the eyeball, it looks like it's a glass ball. Bucket of fish, look at them, look at them, that's a bucket of fish. Nothing like about, you know, being in the uh, Gulf of Mexico catching fish. Beautiful weather. Yeah, got something to show for it too, fish. The fishing was over the top. Um, I don't think a party boat's ever been out of Tampa this far into the Gulf, as far as that I know. And um, and to be able to actually get the species that they were targeting and um, catch him catch big fish, and it was pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. Must be 50 triple tail under the, on those things. It's a little game fish. Real tasty little guys. Oh, he's got bit by a cuda before. I pulled them all up here. Hey, you can get them right on the beach, you know, running down the beach, and here we are, 150 miles out in the Gulf, here, <laughs> catching triple tail. Probably got a dozen fish out of that. Hey, Hoss, I got your leg. You go, I'm gone. And it's going to be bad news when I hit the water. He's, he's good. Everything's good. Everything's good. A sailfish, the first one I've seen come in on Hubbard's boat, to reiterate the fact these guys, these guys are pros and they put you on good fish. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, bring him on back here where everybody can see it. Sweetness. It That's the first sailfish I've been that close to. Uh, several fish today that the first time I've been close to and I've had a great time. I thought they were going to be at TMZ. Yeah. Paul's got to see his parole officer. And remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too busy. Big fat ball.
Hubbard's Marina, but something's missing. Oh yeah, the friendly fishermen. Come on, Floridians, bring the family down to John's Pass on Madeira Beach for a full day of fun. Your children will love the thrill of real deep sea fishing or dolphin watching trips. You can even have the friendly fishermen cook your catch. Talk about fresh. The friendly fishermen offers great seafood, a fun staff, and a terrific view. Come on down to Hubbard's Marina and the friendly fishermen for great fun, fishing, shopping, eating, and dolphin watching trips. It's a blast.